Hey guys, it's Mike White with Xcart Guru. Hey, I'm pretty excited. Uh, I'm going to do an Xcart 4 tutorial. It's been way too long since I've done something in Xcart 4. And we've got something here uh, help adding a brief description to product list page. Uh, so, does anyone know a quick, easy way to add the product brief description to the product list page? All right, well, you know, I'm going to show you the same old tricks I've shown you in other tutorials, but sometimes it's helpful just to see it done uh, for a different situation. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is adding the brief description or the short description right underneath the title on the product list page, so like the categories pages and things like that. So as always, I'm going to show you how I would figure this out. And I'm going to use Webmaster Mode. Imagine that. All right. So I turned on Webmaster Mode, and I'm just going to refresh the front side. We'll let that pop-up come up. Okay, so I'm going to go look at the template. You know, I, I kind of know how to do this already, but I just figure we'll go look at the template and see how that's done. And uh, real easily we can tell by hovering over, we see we're at products.tpl. And then products underscore t.tpl is the template that's controlling this one. So, you know, I'm trying to teach you how to fish. You definitely you look in your own uh, website and see how uh, it's structured and, and see what templates you need to affect by using this webmaster mode. In my case, it's ideal responsive customer main products underscore t.tpl. Okay, and so we can see uh, there's a for each from equals products. So that tells us that's the array that, that this template is looping through. It's looping through the products array, okay? Now the products array doesn't necessarily have to be called products. It also could be feature products, but it's been sent to this template uh, at designated as dollar products. So when the template was called, uh, you know, something, maybe it says featured, featured products as dollar products, you know, when the template is, is, is called up. So we're going to take a look at the front side again. So now that I know that I'm working with dollar products, I'm just going to go show variables. Let's see if I can make this a little bigger. All right. And I'm going to first start out by searching for dollar products. I mean, it could be something else, but uh, I'm just going to hit control F and dollar products. All right. And there it says false. So probably since we're looking at a category, it's not dollar products. Uh, it might be cat products. You know, we just have to keep an open mind. So I'm going to look for uh, just the word products. And I get 43 results. You know. Uh, well, you know, I, I know what it is, but I'm just going to look for it the hard way. Okay, so I clicked the down arrow three times and I landed on cat products. Okay, so cat products is definitely what we're getting here. So we can just look at this, and it seems confusing probably to some, but to others it's it's dead simple. Uh, you know, each one of the uh, category products are being assigned uh, to a uh, you know and and a key in this array, and we can just access uh, everything that we need. We can access all of these variables: so product ID, product code, everything here. So we're looking for something like description all right so there's this D E S C R and then full D E S C R so those are the descriptions and uh, the short description is just D E S C R okay so I'm gonna leave this up but minimize it and I'm gonna go turn off that nasty webmaster mode and then we'll go back here to the template that we were working on and we're going to reread that for each statement. So here it says for each from equals dollar products, item equals product, name equals products. Okay, so product is what each instance or each, each loop of the array is going to be. So now I'm going to flip back over to the front and I'm going to refresh it to get rid of the ugly green. And I'm going to look right here. I'm just going to inspect element and just see if there's a place uh, see div div class equals details um, let's just take a look at that a little closer and we'll make sure that that's where we want to put this alright so there's the product title so I need to look for this product title and then right after it put my description so I'm just gonna click here and copy that class 
I'm not certain that that class is called inside this uh, template. We're going to search for it. And it sure enough is. So there we have a product title. You know, I want to point out that, that you might want to look and make sure that you're not putting this in, inside of an if statement uh, the wrong way. You know, I mean, but the best way is experimentation. So, uh, you know, you could read through here and try to determine all the ifs that are going on here. Or you could just say, well, you know, here's the uh, the product title. And we're... Okay, I turned off the, uh, the editor because it's causing some weird display issues. So we're looking at product title. And I'm just going to copy uh, this statement right here um, because this is the URL and the anchor tag. And then this uh, is dollar product dot product amp. Perfect. We will just pop that in there. And we will edit it. So we're just going to do dollar product dot D E S C R. All right, let's save. Okay, so right away, uh, it doesn't look like that anything happened. Oh, here we go. We've got our descriptions coming through, and they look terrible, obviously, because they're uh, they're not styled in any way. All right. Okay, so just, let's just let's just wrap them in a div to make sure they go to their own line, and then we could assign a class if we wanted to and, and style them up real pretty. But uh, for now, we're just going to put a div around them. And uh, let's look at this uh, amp tag. Uh, that's that's removing, uh, you know, some special characters. First, let's see how our div looks. Okay, so you know you can go on and style this, but at least it's going to the next line and it's making the space that it's needed. Okay, so let's uh, let's look at a better uh, modifier to put on the end of this uh, smarty tag. Okay, what if uh, we had a user that put something like an H2 tag in the description? And that would be, you know, not good for our page. Let's take a look at that. So obviously it's went way overkill here, you know, and uh, we don't want that to happen because it's going to throw off the page. So we can stop that by just going and putting something nice like um, strip tags and I think by default strip tags will do um, a space and you know instead it'll take out the HTML and it'll put a space which when you're uh, rendering HTML it doesn't really matter but if you're a perfectionist like me you're gonna want this uh, false afterwards so that it doesn't put any extra spaces all right, so let's uh, refresh that. And now mom is back where she belongs. And if we zoom in there and look at the uh, the way the HTML is, is laid out, you know, we don't have any extra spaces where we shouldn't. So, okay. Uh, that was easy. I think uh, hopefully that you learned some things and that you can you know, go and attack other projects that might be similar uh, by just following the steps that you saw here. All right. Have a great day. And as always, good luck in all your e-commerce efforts. Mike White signing off.